Oh man, what is uh, YouTube? It is 10.27 No, oh, today's uh I say it's a good decent day I woke up Nothing crazy, nothing bad uh, I had alarms set up for 9 9.15 9.30 All that, but I didn't wake up for none of that shit I was tired But Oh man Today I think I forget what work that we, Oh we got shoulders today So we're gonna do our shoulders like oh, we was gonna we're gonna hoop, gonna hoop, um, do that cardio. Go check the weather right now. See how it goes. Alexa, max volume. Hey Alexa, what's the weather for today? Good morning, Gina. Currently, in effort, it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Fuck. Today, we can expect lots of clouds, mm. a high of 49 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. Also, there's a winter storm warning in effect from Monday, February 12th, 6 p.m. to Tuesday, February 13th, 3 p.m. This is why I fucking hate the fucking... Oh, it's 33, so that means we got to hoop and sweatpants and all that shit, but... We're gonna brush our teeth, get a fit on, eat, call it a day. So now I'm done eating. I'll brush our teeth. And then, get my pants on, get my socks on. So we can do this card. I don't like socks. I'm done brushing my teeth. I'll pick up back up the kid. So I'm done brushing my teeth. We're gonna put my socks on. Um, Put on my sweatpants, get my hooping shoes, my workout shoes, and then we're gonna go play some ball and call it it. And then after that, we got shoulders. All right, so today we got shoulders. But first, I'm gonna try this big peach mango. And if you're working out with no pre, and you're used to taking pre, the first like few weeks or few days, it's gonna be rough because you're used to waiting that 15 30 minutes once you find like a groove of not using pre then it'd be easier for me for the first like few weeks it was hard because i was already used to taking my bucked up rise gorilla mode one of those and, and putting in my shaker and, and using it but then after a while it ran out because pre is expensive People be like, oh no, pre is cheap. No, the fuck is not. Unless you're sponsored, that's different. But like, I was buying it myself. But that didn't start. It don't stop. Like today, I didn't feel like working out. I don't feel like doing it. Right? It's one of those days. But what motivates me and what pushes me to work out is if I don't do it, nobody is going to do it for me. Nobody's going to say, here's your goals. I did it for you. No, nah, I don't work like that. Nobody's going to say, oh, here, I benched what you want to wanna do. I squatted or I got this car. No, nobody's going to do that. You have to work your ass off and do what you got to do. So, yeah, there's times where I don't feel like doing this. But the grind, the motivation I have pushes me to do this that I like to do, lift the weights, push my body to an extent I've never thought I'll be able to put myself to. Because if I don't do this, one, I wasted a day where I could have done something. Yeah, it is later on in the day, but I'm still putting that work in. If you yourself do not put the work in, nobody's gonna do it for you. And that's reality. That's how it is. But on that note, Everybody's gonna have those days where you're not gonna want to do it and everybody's entitled to a rest day But for right now, I am gonna put my body through hell and I'm gonna work out. So we're gonna Try this peach mango bang and then we're gonna start with our first workout shoulder press How I'm gonna do it again like I did last time with the squats Come on, I'm up like I said that's gonna be right there. I just go up and down with it so I can work out my shoulder muscles 
And I think it's like four sets of 10, I believe. We're gonna get this done. I need to do my cardio. There's too many cars in the driveway, so I'll figure something out. As long as you get a sweater and a pumping, you're Gucci, you're golden. But let's try this bang. That's gas. And like always, stay hydrated when you work out. Sip your water, sip whatever you have with you. And that's it. So like I said, shoulder press, four sets of 10. I'm done with the the um, shoulder press with the barbell. We got shoulder seated side uh, lateral raise where you're pretty much sitting down, taking the dumbbell going like this. Everything is slow and control. And like I always do, workout will be down in the description if you want to try it out. If it's good or not, write it down in the comments. But we're going to get this working. So now we have barbell up rows. And then the last the last two workout is um, dumbbell uh, press. And then Smith machine press. What I'm going to just do is take the barbell that's back there and just bang it out. Oh, we get those three. Do those three. And then I'm done for shoulder. I'm going to go inside, cook something to eat. I have some ground beef. I'm going to do something with ground beef, some rice, cut up some pep, uh, some vegetables. And yeah. So now since I'm done, excuse me, I'm going to go outside, cook this ground beef. I'm going to cook it. So I'll, so I'll take some vegetables, make some white rice, call it a day. I'm in the crib right now. Yeah, but um, I have some ground beef. I, I put some some sasong, adobo, some garlic, some lime. This is what the adobo looks like. No sasong, my fault. And then yeah, I put a little bit of this Manhattan. Steak barn, so I have that going. I'm gonna cut up some vegetables, whatever I got left. So I'm gonna cut up, I think this is a green pepper, I'm not sure. I'm gonna cut up the rest of this red pepper, rest of this onion, and I'm gonna throw it in there. And since I got some people at the house doing some work, Made them something to eat right now. So what I got going for them. I got some tortilla with some cheese. I'm gonna make it like an egg because the egg is quick. So yeah, and with the meat, I'm gonna make some white rice. So yeah, when I have something stuffed somewhat with here, I come back. I got to add a lime, which is what we got so far. I cut up some some red pepper, onion, green onion. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up this, this lime, and then we need both half, both sides of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, covering the camera. No, not this one. I do. We use the whole thing. Every drop of it must come out. Oh well, no! You take the other one since they're nice and juicy. It's easier to squeeze out. You do that, and then once the meat, fuck, once the meat is done cooking, I will add the vegetables. You want to add all meat to the vegetables? Yeah, veg you don't want to add vegetables to raw meat. That's how you just say. And when you're doing this, all right. Take a spatula or whatever and break it up like that. <laughs> it makes up easier. So, yeah. And also shout out to the OG because he already had an onion pre-cut for me. So I use that. So now, once everything is looking, I'm also gonna do the rice right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do yellow or white. I'm tired of white. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do for right now. The meat is not cooked. We kept adding the all the other vegetables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the whole cutting board, chuck all these into the pot. Okay, I mean not pot, I kind of have it. So all 
vegetables and stuff, you know. Seasoning where all the meats and then it can start cooking like that. So what I'm gonna do is move everything around so it can get in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the camera so then these guys can see it. But that's what I'm looking like. This is what it is so far. I didn't do the rice yet, but um, I'm about to do the rice. I'm just doing 15 things at once. So, and as you cook, my dad, my OG, my mom showed me this. Told me that I just never did it. As you cook, get clean after as you do it. So then, another thing to worry about, and you will be Gucci. Huh? We're doing that. I let this cook. And yeah, now we're done. Then we just make the rice, and rice is easy. You let it go low and slow. It'll be done in like 10 15 minutes only. So now, since. Ooh, I almost dropped my camera. So now, since I'm done cooking the meat, the vegetables, it's all sauteed with it. This is how it looks like. So now I'm gonna make some rice. And I should be done. Yeah, and then we're gonna clean up. So. How I do rice is, I add like four, three cups, some of this. And then for to add the right amount of water, the second line on your index or your pinky, that's the amount of water. So what I do is, I just go like this with some olive oil, boom, boom. And then I grab a spoon, I mix it around. You might say, oh, why you add olive oil? I forget why. Um, my mom told me about it. Oh, it's just the rice won't stick to the bottom. So you have the rice. So you mix the olive oil. Hold on, I'm not trying to make this shit fall. So you see how the difference is when you mix it. Now it's not gonna get pumpy. So now you can add, you can grab faucet water, filtered water. It don't really matter. It's your preference. But um. So yeah, we're gonna do shit. We're gonna get the water and then um, we're gonna add it in, like I said, the second line on your finger or your pinky, and that should be enough water. But this meat is done, so put it to the side. We move it so it don't get burned as we're um, doing other things. So now that's done, put a lid on it, and that's it. So I did the water, add the oil, add the rice. This is what it should look go up to. So, like I said, second line there. Yeah, my pinky small, so take a line on the pinky, see? So that's how you know you add enough water and you do it slow. Because if you do it too fast, you can burn the rice. So, everything slow. And um, once the rice is done, I'll pick up the camera. So you guys can see what it looks like. But for right now, I'm gonna do it. Put you guys down. And then bring the rice to the other side. Cause this is smaller than this one. So now we have that one there, the rice there. Now, just need a lid. Come to the millions of lids we have. Find the right size and put it on. Once the rest is done, I'll pick back up the camera. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's the truth, bro. After I did what I did, I'm trying to tell you. I cooked this clean, slept up a little bit, did the dishes, all that stuff. I must have been home. I came back now. I came to my room. I just been cooking. Watching YouTube and watching this dude. What's his name? I've been watching King's Dev. him. But um, yeah, right now we're gonna change the bed sheets. Put the pillow sheets in. And then we're gonna light up a candle. The candles that I have over there. We're gonna light those. And then um, do some lines. And then we should call it a day. Before I do anything, I'm gonna put my shoes and on the boxes in the boxes. Or I might just leave it on top for right now. But um, 
Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take this off, put pillowcases on this stuff, wash those, and then he might be saying, "Oh, why don't you have like a, a bed frame?" I did. My room is not the biggest. It's a bed frame, but legit. I'll show you. It will kick out right here. Think about it. From there, this way, I will only have that much space. So I took it out. Best decision I made. Not everybody likes sleeping on a box spring and a mattress. Some people like it with like a um, with the um what's the fucking go? like a head breast all that good, good for you well, for me, i don't like it so and again, what, do, what we're gonna do our laundry do what we gotta do and i'll come back after i have everything done so when i clean up my room right um i got a couple of things i can put on the bed uh, I got this one. It's gas. It's what? Coconut and tropical palms. Or can go, I can go even classic with it. Pull out the, the Febreze. Unstoppable. Or the Febreze touch this one. Either way, if you're not using this for your bed and whatnot, like, it's bad. But what I do is... I'll go right like this. So I'll go spray like that. Come over here. Do some shit like this. Then like that. Cause and then yeah, I went too close, so that's all it is. But once I do that, he starts to smell good. And then since I have a little brother, I'll I'll lock it. So then he can't get it. And then it go back in the magical bin uh, cleaning products that are all right here so all these cleaning products i use in my room and yeah so we're gonna put the pillowcases on wash my blankets and we're gonna vacuum up the, the floor a little bit put the leds that i have on up here and yeah we're gonna get it done and then we're gonna put the ones i have behind the door also so once i'm done i'll pick up the camera Ooh, up. Now, since I put the bed, the pillowcases on the pillows, what I'll do is I'll take this spray, the unstoppable fabric softener. It's not fabric softener. Fabric spray. I'm retarded. And I'll just spray it on the pillows, all of that, to make the pillowcases smell good. All that stuff. I already took out my trash. That's done. So. All we gotta do is wash the blankets, wash a couple of clothes I got, and then we shall be done with the room. The one thing I will put is a candle, the essential oil, and I should be done. For my diffuser that I have, I can use this. I'll just use CBS, but that's all of them. Calm, energetic, focus. I don't know how to read that other word. Wellness and motivate. So you can cut this at CVS. I got some ones like lavender. All this on the side. I'm gonna use. But for right now, I don't know what scent I'm gonna use. And if you're gonna buy a diffuser, buy one that's a water. You can control how much water you wanna add, don't wanna add. So I remember I bought a diffuser to come my little pads. That's done. I got a candle going on at the moment. Continue to finish. Um, and yeah, diffuser. Um, uh, make sure the laundry gets done. About it for right now. Got some water diffuser. So, I'll put you guys on. I should gatekeep this, but I ain't like that. But man, if you don't have this in your room, you don't got some type of candle, something, there was something actually wrong with you. We, and if you don't got cologne either, come on. Come on, get, get with the program, dude. And everything that I have, I'll leave it in the description below, like where I bought all these the oils, diffuser products, all that stuff. But yeah, for right now, one thing we have to do left is just um make sure the clothes get done. My diffuser. 
Fuse is what it does. Um, I do mind coming with the a little remote. It has on and off. How high you want to put the thing? Timer or that? See, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Well, um, I put it in the corner over there. Cause look, once you sit down to watch TV, you don't really see it unless I I I, I focus on it. But this is the remote. See, I don't know if all this settings it has. But like I said, I'll leave the in the description below. Everything. Um, yeah. The workout will be down below. Yeah. We're gonna put my brother and sister to go to sleep because I got school tomorrow. And I'll pick up the camera when I'm showing the room. I'm done with everything in my room. I ate something. Um, but for right now, I'm cooling. I'm chilling. I'm about to play a game. I don't know what yet. My place of Madden. That's exactly what I'm finna do. I'm gonna play some Madden right now. Yes, sir. Then, um, yeah, call it a day. Um, that's about it. But, like I said, I'll leave the workout in the description. I'll leave everything that I have product wise in the description. Forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Um, before we get in the next video, and Gambino.